This guy in a hurry to work out on a snow-covered Kiev street is not just a casual visitor to the swimming pool. A week before, he became the champion of Europe on short water at a distance of 1.5 thousand meters freestyle. In 2017, athletes from the city of Rivne won many well-deserved rewards. Among them are a silver medal at the World Championship in Budapest and the three medals at the Universiade in Taipei. Thanks to natural-born talent and hard work, a 21-year-old Ukrainian became one of the leaders in the sport of world swimming. Zodiac sign Leo Favorite animal Lion Favorite time of the year Summer Misha was born in Rivne into a family of an athletics coach. He was destined to get into sports, though he has to give credit and thanks to his parents, as they gave him the right to make his own choice. My father asked me, where will you go to train and what sport do you choose? I said, when I was eight years old, that I want to swim, and so it turned out. I swam and my father fully supported me in my choice of this sport. The first time that Mihailo plunged into water was not the most pleasant experience for him. At the age of two, he almost drowned in a swimming pool while on vacation. Ever since then, he had a fear of the dip. While training with a coach, he only felt comfortable in the shallow end of the swimming pool. And then, when I was swimming half the pool, I stopped and said, I will not swim further. I was just afraid and burst into tears. My coach asked me, is it cold? I stood in the shower for half the training session under hot water. My body was totally red, like crayfish. But then the fear of the deep went away and Misha began achieving good results and victories in competitions. Misha also studied well in school. His first teacher was his mother. Since the seventh grade, I was a straight-A student and I graduated from school with a gold medal. Of course, the teachers helped me because since the ninth grade, I practically did not go to school. My mother gave me assignments I took from my homework from teachers. I went to college and my mother controlled my studies by phone. Favorite meal – Solyanka. I can cook. Pasta with ketchup. Favorite drink – Mom's compote. Mikhailo Romanchuk won his first medal in the Championship of Ukraine at the age of 11. It was a bronze medal at a distance of 800 meters in his favorite crawl stroke. At the age of 15, the young talented was invited to join the national team of Ukraine in swimming and he immediately showed his talent at international competitions. I won my first medal at the European Youth Championship when I was 14. Then I won the 800-meter competition and set a record of the European Youth Championship. The second medal I won in the half-mile and the third in the 400. A month later, I swam at the Youth University and won the 400 and came in second in the 800. For many years, Mihailo has been training under Petro Nahorny. Yuri Zevin, the father and coach of the world and European champion Daria Zevina, admires their joint work. These are two fanatics. Moreover, in the good sense of the word, such a combination of a coach and an athlete is quite rare. You actually achieve results. One is a workaholic and the other is a fanatic. They're showing top results. It's clear that Misha is a unique guy, and I consider his coach one of the best in the world, without exaggeration. In 2015, Mihailo Romanchuk passed from the youth category to adult in this sport. He showed the seventh result at the World Championship. He raised his stats to compete in the Olympic Games next year. Already in 2016, we set certain goals, medals at the Olympics and the European Championship. Everything went as planned at the European Championship. I won two bronze medals in the 800 and 1500. At the Olympics, my coach relaxed and I performed well. At the Olympic Games in Rio, Mihailo Romanchuk failed to make it to the top eight participants in the finals at a distance of 1500 meters freestyle. 
In the qualifications, he took 15th place among 45 swimmers. The Italian athlete Gregorio Paltinieri became the Olympic champion. Their paths will intersect several times. I weighed 5 kilos more than now. We have changed the technique of training on water and decided to concentrate more on speed. Gradually, I improved my speed. We thought that the base on which we worked for a whole year would prove successful, but it did not. In the gym we worked hard, and I added by 5 kilos, but it did not good. Dream – winning a gold at the Olympics. Happiness – to achieve what I want in sports and make a big, full-fledged and happy family. Love – as one little girl once said, love is when you pick a flower that you are fond of. But true love is when you take care of the flower you picked, you water it and care for it, so that it has a chance to blossom. At the Olympic Games in Rio, Mihailo failed to climb up onto the pedestal of honor, but was lucky enough to meet his love, a long jumper named Marina Bech, they first met under the hot Brazilian sun. It just so happened that I was walking after training and Marina was going to the canteen to have a bite to eat. We met and talked for nearly an hour. After that, our conversations became more serious. After returning without an Olympic medal, Mihailo needed to restore his confidence and confirm his uniqueness. Uniqueness is in the ability to train hard, not whine, and most importantly, to apply such hard work in competitions. I recall many athletes who dedicated a lot of time and effort in training, but in the end failed to achieve their goal in competition. But nobody writes about this in reports and competitions. Misha can train hard and is highly competitive. This is a rare attribute in many my coach and I started the season in this swimming pool in Kiev, and we have made some adjustments both in workouts and in nutrition. I no longer weighed 82 kilos as before the World Cup, but my combat weight was 77 kilos. I lost 5 kilos, and already, at the stages of the World Cup, I won 6 gold medals and had the 4th best result in the history of swimming. So the season started well and continued. In July 2017, at the World Water Sports Championship in Budapest, Mihailo became vice champion in his hallmark 1500-meter crawl stroke. He fell short of his main Italian rival, but in December, at the European Championship short water competition in Copenhagen, he took first ahead of Poltinieri by just under 8 seconds. He won the World Championship, and I won Europe. It was pleasant, and I calmed down a bit in my heart and soul. He's not a beginner in such competitions, he's more like a veteran. Denmark is such a small country, I was amazed. The stands there were full. Competitions were held in a concert hall in which the pool was built. If I am not mistaken, about 5,000 people came to the finals and there were very active fans. Well, as for statistics, I learned that in Europe 90 million people go swimming. This is a fairly large number. There are one and a half billion swimmers all over the world. Imagine what kind of pot we are cooking in. And we also get the medals. So this is a difficult matter, but we still get it. Each athlete has his own so-called superstitions that gives them adrenaline for a successful performance in a competition. For example, an amulet, a prayer or a happy t-shirt. Misha has a happy swimming cap with a secret. At the World Championship, I swam in the same cap that I did in Europe. In the World Championship, I put on the cap in its normal form, and in the European Championship, I flipped it inside out. The reason was the cap is the colors of the flag of Ukraine, and my surname is on the outside. On the other side, there is the name of the sponsor, which is allowed in the World Championship, but not in the European Championship. So the organizer said, this hat is not allowed. So I asked, what if I turn it inside out? 
the gap is the same, but it will be white with no name. He replied, well, all right, go swim and win. So I swam in a pure white cap. Favorite swimming pool, Budapest. I liked it very much. The swimming pool, the atmosphere, the organization. Favorite city or country? I love Singapore very much. Hobbies? I love watching football. I love cars. And I'm very fond of basketball sneakers. A professional athlete cannot always afford hobbies that might lead to injury. For example, Misha is a die-hard football fan since early childhood that he spent in Argentina, where his parents worked for some time. He watches all matches of his favorite club as much as he can. I love the Barcelona football club. Since my childhood, when we lived in Argentina, I became a fan of Lionel Messi, who plays for Barcelona. Of course, sometimes I have a great desire to play football. Sometimes we go and play just to kick the ball around and at the net to avoid any possible injuries. We make it look like a football match. <laughs> Mihailo has no idols in his beloved sport of swimming. After Yana Klashkova, then Oleh Lysahor and Denis Silantiev retired from swimming, this sport in Ukraine was riddled with metal scandals. After that, the new generation of stars finally broke onto the scene. Among them are Daria Zevina, Andriy Hovorov and Mihailo Romanchuk. Of course, we are trying to show our behavior to our little children that it does not matter in what conditions you train. If you have a desire and a coach and your body allows it, you can achieve your ultimate goal in sports. Now we came to the conclusion that without a national youth swimming team, there will be nobody to qualify for the major world competitions. We will do the right thing and we'll see some young blood in sports that will reach the level of such great athletes as Klochkova, Romanchu, Zevina and so on. Those who at least for some time in their life were engaged in swimming understand in this sport a distance of one and a half kilometers is not an easy task. It requires not only physical training, but also strategy and tactics. Athletes must always keep their closest rivals in check. We wear special goggles that allow us to see what is happening under the water. And naturally, I look not above the water as one might think, because I have a very low landing in water. I look underwater. I can see the two closest tracks to the right and left. Basically, I see trunks. If they're blue, they merge with the water. But nowadays, trunks are made in different bright colors – green, black and red. So under the water everything is perfectly visible. In the first 200 to 300 meters, I estimate the situation. I try not to let my rival get too far ahead. If I do, then I will not catch up with him. For about 300 meters, I observe the situation. The rest of the way to the finish line is improvisation. Favorite music? Rap. Favorite movie? Knocking on Heaven's Door. Favorite holiday? New Year. It is his younger sister, Natasha. He is ready to do anything for her. For example, he studies poetry from his sister's school curriculum with her. Both day and night, he reads the book Wise Cat, which walks around a chain. I love her very much. I try to do everything possible for her. I bring gifts for her from every trip. When I go to Kiev for three days, I will definitely bring her some surprise. It is impossible to resist Misha's charm. He quickly finds a common language with any person, even with a potential rival. He has good genes. His dad is a marathon runner, so I do not know how to prove it biochemically, but sports genes are inherent in him. Accordingly, he has a strong character, is amazingly friendly and very communicable, both with Ukrainian athletes and with foreign ones as well. In 2017, Mihailo Romanchuk trained in Turkey. A training session is scheduled for next year in Cape Town, South Africa. 
The main start of 2018 for our hero will be the European Championship on long water in the Scottish city of Glasgow. Well, of course, all the efforts of the athlete and the coach will be aimed at preparing for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. And 20 years later, Mihailo Romanchuk sees himself the following way. Well, I already have some grey hairs. <laughs> I live in my own house, a small family house. I have a dog, a family with two lovely children. That's enough for me.